let's just start out with how do people even get pneumonia in the first place? Well, there are different ways you can get it. There's um, two different ways, mainly for elderly people. Um, there's aspiration, whereas um, they can't uh, clear their secretion. So the secretions end up going down their bronchial tubes, and then it gets infected with the, pneumonia, with the infection, and then, then the pneumonia happens. Um, also, you can get from air droplet. Um, so that's the mo another common way that people uh, get it. Um, if Carol, you want to talk about that? There's another, it just depends, I guess, on the microbe as well. Um, Michelle adequately st stated it's bacterial, viral, or those droplets, but there's also the fungal pneumonias, which can be non-contagious. They're more environment and person acquired. So that's another type as well. Okay, and that's kind of a follow-up. I'm not sure who wants to address that, but you just mentioned contagious. So again, is this something that, you know, if I was sitting next to someone who had pneumonia, is this something that's very contagious, something you can catch? You can absolutely catch it. Um, coughing, sneezing with the, the air droplets. Okay. Um, there was a time when uh, Carol and I were in the office, and um, uh -oh. she was drinking a drink. <laughs> And she put it by the phone, and I went, and I had a cold at that time, so uh. I went to grab it, and then the phone rang. I'm sorry, I went to grab the phone, and it rang, and I sneezed, and oh my, my little, little air droplets got into her drink, and she was so sad because she she'd been waiting all day to drink. That absolutely, drink. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Perfect timing, unfortunately. So, it's, it's, if I had pneumonia, that she and she drank after me, oh. definitely, that could have, um, she could have been infected.